How's it going, everybody? Man, it's been a while since I was talking to the camera. We are still in Alaska. I uh, haven't really been filming much, just hanging out with some friends and family, but we are going fishing again today. We are on the Little Sioux in Burma Landing. Uh, I've never actually fished here before. I don't think Dylan has either, or, well, Nick's from Kansas, but he's up here hanging out with us for a little bit. So yeah, the fishing report's been good. I got some buddies that have been doing good down here, so we're gonna go give it a try. Fishing for silvers. Um, we'll probably catch pinks and charms on their stuff too, but yeah, we're just waiting in line to launch, getting the boat ready. And then I think we're going downstream, but I'm not sure. Not sure where we're gonna fish, not sure how long the trip's gonna be. Like I said, we've never fished here before. But anyway, we're gonna get in the water, head down river, and I'll catch you guys there. Alright, we just pulled to our first spot, saw some boats on the way down, more are still going further, but uh, I don't know, I figured we'd try this spot, I like how steep this gravel bar is, I don't know if you guys would be able to tell, but most ones that come across are just like, we're like pretty flat, this one's got pretty steep, which tells me that in front of us should be pretty deep, usually deep holes hold fish, so I don't know, we'll probably give it a half hour here, see what happens. No, it does not. Found a snag. Yeah. Definitely don't want to let it sit as much as we did in the Dashka. Yeah. It's just a throwing reel. All right, guys, quick update. First spot was kind of a bust. We fished here for, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. Never got a bite, never saw anything surface. So it was good to get, her, get out and stretch our legs and whatnot, but we're moving forward. We're moving on down river uh, to the next spot. So we'll catch you guys there. Uh, we came around a couple more corners. We ended up seeing a lot more boats than we have been. Uh, stopped the pup by one of them. And they said they caught two in a half hour, an hour. I don't know, not very long. And they said it was pretty slow. So if that's slow, that's good for us. Look at, look at the, way the way the boat's swinging, tide's definitely coming up. So the creek is supposed to be going that way. And our boat is right, basically drifting like right in the middle of the creek, if not going a little bit this way. So that means that the, the tide's pushing up from the ocean. We're getting pretty close to the inlet. And it should mean, usually when the tide comes out, the fish move up with it. So I'm gonna put the camera down. Yeah, you can see the anchor. And that's downstream. So we should be going that way, but we're going. So that's good. A lot of people fishing now. Uh, time to get the lines out and see what happens, I guess. Stay tuned, guys. Hopefully, we'll actually catch a fish in this video. Yes. I feel bad, but Theodore Gate was giving him so much shit for the way how he was filleting. He was also wasn't filleting fish very well. He yeah. flays like over 100 fish a year. Like, if you one thing, if it was someone who goes on one or two salmon trips a year, but you know, he goes dip netting every year. So, like, he's flayed thousands of salmon in his lifetime, and he still just butchered them. <laughs> Is it? Don't be a bad spot to fish. I mean, they put those, I mean, they had those fishing platforms there. Fish on. Oh, yeah. Get the net, get the net. Okay, I'm gonna trade places with you. Yep, Dylan's hooked up. You can set, if you set that rod up there, you appreciate it, thank you. Those are kind of fragile. I like the little other things. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. All right. Uh -oh. Okay, here we go. Nick. <laughs> Nick. <laughs> you. Okay, I'll fight him. I got him. <laughs> <laughs> Update on the fish. It's beautiful. All right, back here we go. Okay, ready? Yep. Net in the water, net in the water. There you go. 
Nope. Oh, there you got him. There we go. What a net job. Look at that. Shake and bake, boys. Shake and bake. Nice job. Good go. net job. All right. Well, while he gets that fish taken care of, that was on that Kodiak Custom, huh? There you go. Little Sioux, Alaska, Burma Landing. First silver. I wouldn't say he's a monster, but definitely a very nice one. Going in the box. That's what we like to see. So, uh, yeah. We've been here for what? 10, 15 minutes, maybe? Yeah. Wasn't that long. So, let's do that a couple more times. <laughs> maybe get the net a little bit more prepared this time. <laughs> All right, guys. See you on the GoPro. I think I'm just going standard. I'm just doing what everybody else has been doing on the river. Standard number four, Lou Fox Vibrex. It's like the gold standard in Alaska. Look at the fish. He was like right at the boat. I don't think he took very well. Woo! Here we go. No big camera footage of that one, but that's okay. That's awesome. Quick release. Yeah, he was barely hooked. Yeah. All right, so here's the one I just caught. Another beautiful silver. These are probably about the average size. So that's good. Two to, or two down, four more to go. Nick still needs to get one today. And now they're going in the box. Slabs. All right, this is kind of mid action. Nick's got one on. Oh, nope. Yeah. Don't let that line touch the. There we go. Let's go. Let's mine out the ball. Beautiful fish. Hold on. Hey, Charlie. He uh, lucked out, I would say. Look at that. Did it break off all but one? Broke off all but one what? hook. What? <laughs> I think you right. lucked out on Let this dude. <laughs> Beautiful fish. All right, into the box. We got three more, one for each of us. All right, well, there's my last silver of the day. It's beautiful, definitely our smallest one, but still plenty good. Throw them in the box and show you guys the rest of them. That's what you like to see, it's been a good day. Uh, we'll do a couple, now that we caught one, we might stay a little bit longer, but we're gonna do another drift or two. That seems to work. We caught, I caught both my fish drifting. Mm -hmm. So, so now I'll just hang back, watch, I'll probably paddle for the boys or whatever, be on net duty, film duty, whatever it takes. Yeah, just absolute beautiful day up in Alaska. You can't beat this stuff. Make sure you hit the like button if you're still watching this video at this point. I always forget to tell you guys, but it helps a lot. And uh, yeah, let's catch two more fish and get out of here, shall we? It's hooked up. <laughs> there we go. go. All right. 
beautiful it's a mess so I just caught my last fish I was just organizing some tackle and going through some stuff we anchored up I caught my fish right there we just threw the anchor out basically and while I was messing with some stuff you can see I was organizing rods and all everything's over there Nick hooked up so that's awesome as as we found a couple there we go Definitely, these, these last two have definitely been smaller, but still beautiful fish. Your first uh, silver limit. Yeah. That's awesome. It's a good day to me. Put them in the box. All right, that's five in the boat. One more. We just got lonesome old Dylan up there. You caught the first fish, too. A little dry spell. It happens. So he actually caught that fish. We're talking about a pretty close to where I caught my first one. We just... We were this side, of the, I think we think there's a little hole. He was just this side of the hole and I was on the back side. So we're gonna get Dylan up front. Hopefully we can get one more out of that spot and we'll call it an awesome day. So great, awesome. Well guys, we're, Dylan's throwing in the towel kind of forcefully. We gotta get back to a, a dinner party or family party thing we got going on tonight. So Nick's just trying to catch a chum. But anyway, that's probably gonna do it. We'll Stopped and picked up some hitchhikers. <laughs> People had some motor problems, so we're helping them out and towing them back. But we're almost back to launch anyway, which so is not a big deal. You gotta do what you gotta do. We've all been there, so.